What's up, y'all? It's your girl. So this video is going to be super quick because it's just an update on this lavish life hair. Like, I just made that up because I thought it sounded really cool. If you've seen my recent video on this wig that I made, if you haven't, then you can check the information box and I will hopefully remember to leave the link below for you guys. But yeah, so this wig actually came out super nice. I like, I like, I like it. Like when I say super nice, meaning it fit properly. Um, I really can't remember off the top of my head how many um, inches it was. I think it was two 22s, a 20, and a 16 inch frontal. I cannot even remember. But let me tell y'all about this hair, okay? Um, for one, this is the frontal that would not lift like so i left the bleach on for 30 minutes and the knot and then i washed it out because i did bleach it with this other unit that i was making that they were the units were already made i had made them and then i decided to bleach the frontals after that and that's just how i like to do it because it just makes it much easier for me so that's how i like to do it um everybody is different um so when i did that i put them both and i did them both at the same given time it was 30 minutes and I knew that the other one was done because the bleach, the knots had lifted in the other unit. So I took this one and I tried to look and see if the, the knots were actually, you know, bleached. And I really couldn't tell, so I just rinsed it out. When I rinsed it out, they were not bleached. There was like a few sparingly ones that were actually bleached. So I was kind of pissed and I said, I got to try this one more time. So after I rinsed it out, I just... Got my bleach back together again. Um, well, not back together again because I did have like a little bit left in the bowl. And I used that on the wet frontal and it actually lifted within 30 minutes. And when I say lifted, it lifted perfectly and it wasn't even brassy. It didn't shed. The hair was perfectly intact and I was so thrilled. Okay. So I did use 30 Developer and I used the um, Salon Pro 30 Developer. And I think it was the Salon Pro um, bleach in the blue container. I can't really remember if it's the Salon Pro brand, but that it's the same brand that I always use. Like I don't use Collider Colors. Um, I use um, a Kaleidoscope. I use, um, I guess it's Salon Pro. I think it's Salon Pro. Well, anyway, um, I used that and my, my baby hair is just lifting up um i used that and I, I i did have some bleach left in the bowl so i went ahead and just used what i had left even though the bleach was sitting out for like 30 minutes it still was perfect um I, it was still usable and i don't really like to waste anything okay so being that i don't like to waste anything i will try to use something like if i make too much bleach for a wig i will definitely try to use it on something else well not something else like because you can't really use it on anything but hair but I'll, I'll i'll just do like the tips or i'll find like another closure and frontal that evening i had actually bleached four units not four units but two wigs and a frontal and a closure because i had made that much bleach and a girl was not about to be washing it down the damn sink so the second go round with the wig um, and it, the, the knots were lifted, I was so happy. But then I was like, damn, I hope the hair don't fall out. It didn't fall out. The It didn't even shed, okay? Like I have had some where the, the knots have lifted within like 20 minutes using 30 developer and then they shed like crap, okay? Or they just shed. They didn't even shed like crap, but they just shed. This one did not do that. Now I think this is the, either it's Peruvian or Malaysian. For one, I love water wave hair or loose wave hair because I don't really like to do much of anything. Um, I think I have enough to do with recording, editing, making wigs, so I just don't really wanna do all of that. So I try to like give myself as less work as possible, okay? So that is the key to my madness. Like I really don't like to do a lot. And plus, you know, I did pre-pluck the hairline, which I think came out really good. But I, I was just like so happy that the wig fit so perfect. Like I finally got it nailed, okay? Like seriously. I thought it was the damn caps, but it was actually the way that I was positioning the frontals, okay? So now that I have it nailed to a T, I'm gonna say I am so freaking happy, okay? I got the elastic band perfect, I got the wig on perfectly, on the cap, like, life is good. Life is freaking good. 
So, I do have one a tank top, in case you guys like, where's your clothes at? I do have one a tank top. So, for the most part, the hair is actually really, really pretty. Like, it has given me life. Like, seriously, it's a beautiful unit. I constructed it um, on, um, uh, let me just feel. I constructed it on a dome cap by the company called Dream. I think like that was the best dome cap that I could ever use for frontals. I've used other ones and they just didn't come out perfectly, but I think like Dream has like the best ones for when you're making a frontal because they're a little bit tighter than most and you don't want the frontal, you don't want it to be too loose. I just think that the Dream brand, it's called Dream, is perfect for doing frontals and then also the dream deluxe weaving cap is also perfect too so I was like really like happy about the whole outcome of this unit and the fact that it did take a little bit more bleaching I was kind of not even worried after that once I seen it wasn't shedding but I was even more thrilled that it didn't become brassy okay so that was like the number one thing for me like with this hair but um for the most part it came out great. The frontal was bomb as hell. The hairline was not all thick. Um, of course, you're gonna have to customize it and make it your own, but for the most part, it did a really good job with bleaching. And I have come to realize that when you have units or frontals or closures that lift super easy, sometimes you have to be really careful with that because they also shed like crazy. And then when you have the ones like I have, like this is not the first time that I've had to do that with a frontal or a closure that I've had to bleach it twice right after I rinsed it because the knots were just so stubborn they didn't want to lift like that. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not, but I will say that with the strength of the knots in the hair, I think that's like an amazing thing because they don't shed like that. And nobody wants no shedding hair, okay? So I will definitely link all of the info below for you guys so that way you can check it out. Make sure you check out the original video. And on that note, I love you guys. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a soon-to-come video.